Hi guys, so next month it's Halloween and I couldn't be more excited so I wanted to film some Halloween looks for you guys so this look is kind of like an Arkham Asylum patient that's what I was kind of going for so I'm starting off by applying the Stay Matte Foundation by Rimmel London because we want to look dead kind of we don't want a dewy base or anything like that we want to look matte so that's why I'm applying this setting the foundation with a matte powder it's just a loose powder by Rimmel London and it's in shade translucent so it doesn't add any color or anything I'm now going in with the jumbo eye pencil in milk just to add it to my waterline then using the NYX contour palette I'm using the shade I just showed you and I'm contouring my cheekbones just to make them look gaunt that's why I'm moving it down near my chin and then I'm going in with the grey from Ben Nye I don't know what it's called but I'll link it down below and I'm just putting that over the top of that brown just to make it look a bit more dead-like. I'm also moving that colour up onto my temples just to make myself look a bit more dead and then it makes me look a bit more, you know, asylum-like. I don't know. And then I'm going in with the brown and the red shade and that's, I think that shade Cork and Burgundy from Ben Nye and I'm running that under my lower lash line just to make my eyes look a bit dead and then I'm going to go in the inner corner and darken it up that way the eyes will look sunken in and then using Espresso by Ben Nye and just darkening up that inner corner and the whole crease area I just add the colour bit by bit because I don't want it to go too dark all in one go I'd like to just do it gradually I can't say that word, I'm sorry. And then I'm just going to blend it out just a tiny bit and then, then we go in with more colours. All you need to do in this look is build it up. And then using the brown and red shades mixed together and I'm then drawing in eye bags where I think they'd be. And then I'm using the foundation brush just to go over it because I don't want it to look too intense. But I just keep building it up and up anyway. Just do it until you think it looks good. pencil by soap and glory and I don't want it to look too neat that's why I'm doing it very quickly and not taking much care in it and then I'm gonna scruff them up a little bit with my finger just so it looks scruffy and then I'm adding greys and browns to my lips just so they also look dead and then I'm going in with mascara by Rimmel London and you can go in with whatever mascara you want you don't have to do this step it's optional but I just wanted to do it anyway Then going over my lips again with the brown and grey just to make them look a bit more dead like and again I'm tapping over it with my foundation brush so it doesn't look too intense and I'm then running the rest of the colour over my eyelashes so it doesn't look too neat. I'm now using the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel and this red shade and I'm doing a line down my face because this is going to be the base of our scar and you want to tap it so it doesn't look too intense and then we're going in with rigid collodion which is a liquid and you just draw it on and it can make your skin appear like it has a scar so you want to put it on and leave it to dry and then just keep repeating that step you can squeeze it to make it look more sunken in but doing so on your cheek is quite difficult i built this up to about 10 layers and while i was waiting for it to dry i did like a little dance and then took a few snapchats for my friends and yeah you just want to keep repeating that step about 10 times till it's dry and then I'm going in and deepening up the colours ever so slightly. It's kind of hard when the clothing's there, but I'm doing it anyway. Using some congeal blood, we're going over the scar we just made, and we're only adding a tiny bit, and we're going to tap the blood out just so it looks a bit more, you know, realistic. And then going in with tooth enamel and I think the shade is nicotine and we're just painting that over our teeth. It does taste disgusting so be warned. I'm now back combing my hair with my hand and I wanted to do it this way because I feel like it looks more scruffier than if you do it with a brush. And obviously you could set it in place with hairspray but I didn't do that. 
Then using a tiny bit of brown and grey, I'm going in on my forehead, chin and neck, making my skin look a little bit dirty. You could add more than this if you wanted to, but I only wanted to add a little amount. And then going in with reds and purples from the bruise wheel and dotting it around my neck, just so I look a bit bruised. And again, you could add more than this and you could add it onto your face if you wanted to. And then I'm going to do a little close-up of the collodion, just to show you what it looks like, and that is a completed look. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!